Fool! You have achieved nothing! I am immortal, yet I will never surrender! <sighs> Elidipus, so fixated were you on my memories of the future, Wait, you failed bitch. to heed the lessons of the past. Your obsession blinded you to the true nature of this tower, this beacon of hope for mankind. Created to serve as a reservoir for the limitless energy of the heavens. To harness and bind the boundless. Not unlike white orosite. Oh my god, it's a giant Pokeball. Your ill-begotten power. Obtained by exploiting that which is best in us. I shall have it. Your soul and all! Master Ball, bitch. Dude, this whole patch has felt that good. This whole patch has felt as good as that looked. No, 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 no. the nose Yoshida son that was a little bit on the nose it was really good it was really good man <laughs> me too yeah me too man <laughs> oh, you poor poor loss dude I feel so bad for a little bus man I know, in a weird way, I really fucking relate to that character. Do you guys feel that way as well? Like, it's so easy to get so focused on a goal or some aspect of your life and you're not even doing it for the reason that you thought you were doing it anymore. You're just doing it because it's who you think you are. <laughs> It's all of his friends, man. Yes. I would become him. I would save everyone. This, I believed. Yet still they cried out in rage and despair. Oh my god, he was a fucking kid. Divided over the fate of the star. A rare occurrence, always fleeting. But not this time. Not this time. <laughs> Reconciliation. Elizabeth. I was needed. I withdrew myself from Zodiac. For them. My people. My brothers. My friends. Stay strong. Keep the faith. At duty's end, we will meet again. We will. We will. The rains have ceased, and we have been graced with another beautiful day. But you are not here to see it.
Wait, so they literally sacrificed a kid's fucking camera sh Oh, sorry. I'm not at home. My leg's shaking. The desk is made of fucking shit. They let a kid get fucking sacrificed to the primal. I concede I may have overexerted myself. Oh no, come on, man. Steady now and listen. I told you before that I had a plan and that when all is said and done, I would ask a favor of you. We have averted the eighth umbral calamity, found a way for everyone to return to the source, and last but not least, we have secured the future of all the people of Norvrand. We have won, my friend. So, I hope you'll forgive me this moment of selfishness, and while I wouldn't want you to feel obliged, Promise me you'll take me on your next adventure. A journey. Together. That's all I ask. Guys, just don't pay attention to Alinity and Miz. I promise your life will be much better if you do that. <laughs> If I were to tell you that this isn't the end, that we will meet again, would you believe me? My friend, with you, my mind and memory shall travel to the ends of the world and beyond. But in this place shall my body stand immovable. May it serve as an undying promise, not only to those who look to me for leadership, but to any soul who has known despair that hope is everlasting. Can we put him in somebody else's body? There. The 
the Exarch would remain. Oh guys, and she's gonna Sion die too dead. now! When the Scions were not released from his summoning spell, we proceeded with the plan to return them to the Source. The Warrior of Darkness, however, retained his ability to traverse the two worlds at will. And in time, the Crystal Tower became a symbol of his link to the First, and of hope. Those birds have such sad eyes. Is that Oddbert's crystal? Wait, it's Ardbert, not Ardbart? So it is. It has changed, but I would know it anywhere. However, did you come by it? This bird, man. Then, even in death, his enemies found a way to profit from his sacrifice. Oh, it grieves me to think of his body being used for evil ends. But, thanks to you, his honor is restored, and he may finally find peace. No words can express my gratitude. I will keep this crystal safe to the end of my days. Rest easy, my friend. You have earned it. No way. Pardon? Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Seto, my old friend. You've grown. Oh, oh, Artbert, how I've missed you. I'm sorry I couldn't keep you safe, or even console you. Had I only learned to speak sooner, I would have told you how much you meant to me. How much I cared.
I knew. I always knew. But I'm happy to hear it nonetheless. Thank you, Seto. My partner in crime. I see. His journey continues. Then I will not yet bid him rest. With you, he may look forward to many more adventures. It has been a while since last I flew. Perhaps I too will go on a little adventure? Ride the winds? Seek the horizon? Yes. I think perhaps I will. Master Matoya. For too long, I have remained silent, but no longer. I could not bear it if you were to leave. Please, stay. I beg of you. Renard, please. <laughs> Little moon! <laughs> I jest. At least in part. What I came to say is this. your wisdom, your strength, and your kindness to guide us, our people would still be lost. We will never forget you, Master Matoya. It was just a Wherever joke. your journeys may take you, you will always be in our hearts. Will you marry me? No? Oh, I was kidding. Thank God you didn't say yes. There's just a goof. Just a goof. <sighs> And you in mine. Remember that your people's journey, that our people's journey, is yet ongoing. Your lives will change, and so too will your dreams. Yet come what may, you need not forsake your time-honored traditions, nor less your beliefs. Jesus Christ. But neither should you be beholden to them. For it was with curiosity and courage that the Knights Blessed first triumphed over adversity. New knowledge and new wisdom are ever worthy of pursuit. <laughs> she li he literally goes, I love you, and she goes, allow me to talk about your Bible. <laughs> Have you heard of Jesus? <laughs> Hell, man. Absolutely fucking rolled. <laughs> she was, she's just like, ah. <laughs> uh. 
Indeed they are. <laughs> and so, until we return to the Sunless Sea, we shall endeavor to live our lives to the fullest. That is well. But however great your strides, there may yet come a day when the challenges you face cannot be surmounted alone. Well, he's gonna be- he's, he's gonna be alone, he's still got a plus one now that you fucking ditched his ass! <laughs> On such a day... <laughs> On such a day... You may call on me. I don't understand. Since a means to travel between worlds exists, you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. Oh, she's lying. She's going to Montreal. Oh, we're fine. She's she's just oh, she's just trying to get out of there. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, oh man. I just got a new job. She likes me. And there remain so many mysteries here that want for solving. Oh my god. <laughs> Master Matoya! Oh, really? Why are you smiling? You fucking cuck. What the fuck just happened? Everyone, then. We've all said what we needed to. Even as we speak, Backlog undertaketh their final inspection of our spirit vessels. When thine own preparations for the journey are complete, thou art to present thyself in the ocular. Give me a happy ending, for fuck's sake. Um, everyone? I want to thank you all, on behalf of the First. You, and Minfilia, and the Exarch. Without each and every one of you guiding us, fighting for us, we wouldn't be standing here now. There wouldn't even be a here. And no words can express our gratitude. We still have a lot to do. Countless trials to overcome. But if it ever seems too much, I'll think of our time together. The happy moments, and the sad. I will remember it all. And it will give me the strength to carry on without you. Because you made me who I am. Minfilia. Reen. To 
honor these names and these memories. I will stand with all the people of this land and strive for a better tomorrow. Thancred, I believe the honor of responding should rightfully be thine. I know better than most how much you've grown, and I have every confidence you'll make your people proud. Gods know I'm proud of you. I always will be. You deserve all the happiness in the world, and more. Might we also say a few words? Sublina? Why, this is just about all of you. To see you off seemed the least we could do. You risked your all for us, fought for a realm not your own. Before you came, we had never known the beauty of the night sky. Or the joy of your company. Though it saddens us deeply, to bid you farewell, it has ever been our way to send off friends with a smile. Wherever your road should lead, we shall pray for your safety. And following your brave example, we shall continue to fight for the Crystarium. With or without us, you've always taken good care of this city. I don't doubt for a moment you'll continue to do so. I a more resilient people we have never known. As resilient and enduring as the tower that watches over you. To the last, we did not question the Exarch about his past. It is only now, when he can no longer tell us, that we believe we know the answer. We have heard what became of him, and what is about to be attempted. All will be well. Of this we are certain. How could it be otherwise, when every soul in the Crystarium is praying for it with all their heart? Aspiring writers taken out. And so, when our Lord awakens, I bid you give him a message. Tell him. He needn't worry about us. That he need no longer hide who he truly is. That he should live his own life to the fullest. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, fuck. And that if he should ever find himself reminiscing on the past with a smile, we shall be smiling with him. Will you tell him this? Thank you. Please look after him for us. I dare say we have all the good wishes we can carry. Let us be on our way. <laughs> 